clean my house. Okay. Here's my vacuum cleaner from a decade ago and I have many challenges with this. It constantly bumps into everything, it's very loud and most of the time it will be seen stuck somewhere like this. And I always have to take it out from wherever it's stuck so that it can resume its cleaning. And the most frustrating part is I have to empty the dustbin after every cleaning. This is something I truly hate. It's time to upgrade. Meet my new robotic vacuum cleaner, Tapo RV30+. Plus. One of the standout features of this vacuum cleaner is its smart navigation. So it has advanced sensors and it will map your house and clean your house efficiently and ensuring it covers all the nook and cranny. Here's where my old vacuum cleaner was seen stuck and look at this guy. It's doing an awesome job. I have never seen this guy getting stuck anywhere so no more babysitting. If it cannot go under any of the furniture, what it does is it will first make an attempt and then effortlessly and without making any noise or hassle, it will slide away and continue its cleaning. So this is incredibly impressive. And the most amazing feature is it can auto empty the dust after every cleaning. So my wish literally came true. So it has a 4 liter dust bag so it can go up to 70 days without emptying. This is a very advanced robotic vacuum cleaner and it uses LiDAR technology. So LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging. So because of this technology, it enhances the navigation and mapping capabilities. Let's talk about the suction power. So this vacuum cleaner has 4200 Pascal hyper suction. So it will easily lift all the dust and dirt and even hair and it works on various floors like carpets, hardwood floor, even on ceramic tiles. Most of the dust in our house will be gathered under the bed. So this is the scenario before vacuum cleaning and after vacuum cleaning, look at the magic. It is sparkly clean and it's absolutely dust free. Not only vacuum cleans, it also does mopping. I never had any good experience with my old vacuum cleaner's mopping feature. So I was not expecting much from this guy. However, after the mopping, I was truly blown away. This has done an amazing job. It did not even miss a single spot. It has a water tank underneath so it constantly drew water, wet the mop cloth and mopped the floors flawlessly. So this is one of the features I always wanted to have in my vacuum cleaner and this one has it. My excitement started a couple of weeks ago when UPS delivered the vacuum cleaner to my front door. And quickly, I rushed to pick up the vacuum cleaner. Here it is. It's unboxing time. Let's see what's inside the box. Here are the manuals. Here is the mop cloth mount and it comes with two washable cloths. And here is the vacuum cleaner. And it comes with a side brush, cleaning brush and a filter. There is one more item in the box. I'm going to take that out. 
Here is the auto empty dock. Here are the charging contacts. When the vacuum cleaner comes in contact with this, it will start charging. And here is the dust collection port. Inside the auto empty dock, here is the dust bag. So this is 4 liter capacity already installed and it also comes with an additional dust bag. I'm absolutely loving the design. So it looks very sleek and modern. So here is the vacuum cleaner. Here is the auto empty dock. So both are very lightweight. First, I'm gonna plug it in the auto empty dock. Here's the power switch on the side, so I'm gonna turn it on. First thing we have to do is place the vacuum cleaner on the charging dock or just tap on the home button and it will go towards the dock and charge. Starting to charge. Next, I'm going to download the Tapo app from the App Store. So search for Tapo. So this is the one TP Link Tapo. So now it's downloading. I'm on Tapo app right now. So click on Allow to send notifications. Click Continue. And next, let's create a TP Link ID. Type your email. And next, let's set the password. Click on Sign up. And then we'll get an email to activate the account. Activation is done, so let's log into the account. So next, let's add the device. So click on Add Robot Vacuum and click on Tapo RV30 Plus. Follow the instructions and next, let's connect the app and the vacuum cleaner. To do the setup, we have to press and hold these two buttons simultaneously for five seconds and then release. So all the buttons should start to blink white. So this is perfect. The Tapo app is looking for the vacuum cleaner, so it found it. So the setup is complete. So next, it's network configuration. So choose your network. So now it's connecting to the network. So the network configuration is successfully done. Name your device. I'm going to call it Sparky and also the custom location. So where you have placed the dock. We're almost there with the setup. So now it's checking firmware. So the firmware update is done. So the next step is start mapping. For mapping, we have to use the Tapo app. So I'm going to show it to you guys. And before we start with the mapping, we need to ensure there are no clutters. If there are any hanging cables, remove that. And I have some indoor plants. I'm going to remove everything. So the smart guy can map our house effectively. I've placed all the pots and small accents that were on the floor on the staircase. So this is an ideal place. Before we click on start mapping, we need to ensure the vacuum cleaner has 100% charge. So when I turned it on, it already had 45% charge. So I put it in charge and now it's fully charged. So I can start with the mapping and also read through the instructions. So let's click start mapping. Right now, mapping in progress. I didn't want it to map the powder room, so I'm going to close the door. So if you don't want any rooms to be mapped, you can just close the door. Not a single time it got stuck and I love the fact it turns around and finds its way. So if it cannot go under some of the furniture, it will first make an effort and then it will gently, without any hassle, it will turn around and then it will continue with its cleaning. My main floor has an open concept, so the kitchen, dining room and the living room, everything is open. So right now it's mapping and covering all the areas. Yet another impressive feature, so it has drop sensors. So right now it's mapping the edge of the staircase without falling. Whoa, this is awesome. After mapping has completed, it has returned to the dock. starting to charge here's how my main floor mapping looks like so it has covered everything and i love this mapping so i'm gonna keep it so this vacuum cleaner has mapped my house perfectly i love the fact that we can customize the cleaning so we don't have to clean the entire house we can choose different rooms and let it clean 
After mapping, we can do a lot of customizations on the app. So right now it's given us room one, two, three. We can name the room. We can give the cleaning order. And we can also customize the vacuum power, water level, cleaning times and cleaning areas. For instance, for room one, I'm gonna set the cleaning time to one. So it will only run once. And for vacuum power also, we can change it to standard, turbo or max. Where there is more dust, we can keep it to max. And for water level, it's good to keep it moderate for hardwood floors. For ceramic tile, maybe you can keep it to high. So this is for mopping. You can also create custom zones, virtual walls and no-go zones. So that will prevent the vacuum cleaner entering certain areas and rooms. I'm gonna create a no-go zone near to the console under the TV. I have a few hanging cables. So just select that area and we have to save it. So the vacuum cleaner will not clean this area. After all the customizations, here's how the main floor map looks like. So this is pretty organized. I have created a few custom cleaning options. So this is for fast cleaning. For deep cleaning, I have both vacuum cleaning and mopping. So next I'm going to create one more custom cleaning for just kitchen and mudroom. So usually kitchen and mudroom requires additional cleaning. So I'm going to show it to you guys. So click on custom and then I selected kitchen. So next select the mudroom or whatever rooms you want to select and then click on next. We can also set the cleaning preferences. So I'm going to set the cleaning times to two so it will clean twice. Vacuum power, I'm going to set it to turbo and water level. So my kitchen has ceramic tiles. So I'm going to set it to high. Click next and we can give a name for this preset. So I'm going to call it kitchen clean. So we have created the custom kitchen clean option. Best part is when we let the vacuum cleaner clean, it only cleans the kitchen and mudroom. Yet another cool feature, it can also do zone cleaning. So if you only want to clean a specific area, this is the best. So click on zones. So let's say if you have spilled cereal or flour in the dining room, select that area and click on start. So the vacuum cleaner will only clean that area. My customization is fully complete. So I'm going to let Sparky, my vacuum cleaner, clean the main floor. So just click on start. Right now, vacuum cleaning is in progress. This can even go under this TV table. So none of my old vacuum cleaners were able to do that. So now it's super clean and dust free. So I don't have to manually clean this area. After the cleaning has completed, it will return back to the dock and will auto empty the dustbin. My favorite part. So right now it's emptying the dust. It's a bit loud and it will only last for a few seconds. Start collecting dust. Do not move the machine. So all the dust is collected in this dust bag. So it's a pretty large 4 liter dust bag. After vacuum cleaning the main floor, here's how the map looks like. So all these lines, so these are the paths taken by the vacuum cleaner. So as you can see, it has covered each and every spot. So this is because of its efficient navigation. You can create up to three maps. So I have the map for main floor. I also created one for upstairs. So I named it upstairs. Obviously for cleaning upstairs and basement, we have to take the dock and keep it there. This is a dual function vacuum cleaner. So it does vacuum cleaning and also mopping. So it comes with a mop cloth mount, this one, and there are two washable mop cloths. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the mop cloth on the mount. It's pretty easy. So just slide the cloth over here. So there's a groove. So slide it in and it will go very smoothly. Press the other ends so it will stick on to the mount. Here's the dustbin with the water tank. So just take it out. So before mopping, we need to fill water in the water tank. Open the rubber plug and let's fill water through this opening. Water tank capacity is 300 ml. So after filling with water, close the plug. The mop cloth mount goes on the other side. So there are two holes. So that's where we have to install the mount. There are tiny legs on the back side of the mount. 
So keep that on these holes and gently press it. Let's keep this back into the vacuum cleaner so the mop cloth goes at the bottom. We can run it for mopping the hardwood floors and also ceramic tiles. Mopping is in progress right now so it's recommended to first do vacuum cleaning and then do mopping so there won't be any dust. It's now mopping the master bedroom. So I never had any good experience with my vacuum cleaners mopping feature. They all did a lousy job to be very honest. So I didn't have much expectation for this one and I was very curious to know how this did a mopping. After the mopping is done, I was truly blown away. This has done a great job. It didn't even miss a single spot. Since it has the water tank, it constantly draws the water, wets the cloth and then mops. So the floors were seen sparkly clean. Some of the other awesome features are auto charging. So when the battery gets low, it will return back to the charging dock. And after it's fully charged, it will resume its cleaning process. That's really awesome. Another one is long lasting battery life. It will continuously clean for up to five hours. So that's pretty impressive. There is also carpet auto boost. So obviously carpet needs more suction. So it will increase the suction power when moving from hardwood floor to the carpet. So that's really a great feature. For all the tech enthusiasts, it's compatible with voice assistants like Alexa and Google Assistant. So we just have to tell it to start cleaning and it will be on its way and doing an awesome job. And we can control it from anywhere using the Capo app. So the app will let us schedule the cleaning, start and stop the vacuum remotely from anywhere. Without any doubt, safety is top priority. So this RV30 Plus vacuum cleaner is equipped with anti-collision and drop sensors so it wouldn't bump into our furniture or fall staircase. So that is just awesome. This vacuum cleaner has turned into my ultimate new partner in home cleaning. So with its smart features, powerful suction and efficient navigation, it's a game changer in day-to-day -day cleaning. If you're looking to buy a new vacuum cleaner or looking to upgrade, I would highly recommend this Tapo RV30 Plus vacuum cleaner. So it does a pretty awesome job and perfect for your smart home. So check out the link in the description below for more information. The buttons on the Tapo have some functions. So when we click the home button, it will return back to the dock. So everything is clearly explained on the manual page two. So check that out. Click on settings on the top right corner so we can set a lot of things over here for spot cleaning settings. We can set the vacuum power and water level so I'm going to set it to turbo vacuum power and water level moderate. And don't forget to save. So we can also turn on the child lock. Child lock if you click on this button for 5 seconds the vacuum cleaner will be locked. Dust emptying setting. So I have enabled smart and auto empty should be turned on by default it is on. So next one is for carpet cleaning I have boost enabled. So this will increase the vacuum power for deeper clean for carpets. Click on maintenance and it will show how everything is looking main brush, side brush and filter. You can also do schedule cleaning so click on schedule and we can set an automatic cleaning schedule and the vacuum cleaner will clean automatically at the set time and it will return to the dock after cleaning for charging. So I'm going to set the schedule for Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Just click save. If you click on report it will provide us with the full summary of the cleaning. That's a wrap guys. I hope you guys found this review helpful. So thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe. I'll be back with more review videos. Until then take care everyone and bye.